Mononucleosis, also known as mono or kissing disease, is due to an infection caused by the Epstein-Barr virus leading to symptoms of fever, sore throat, and large cervical lymph nodes. When mono is suspected in a patient, a rapid monospot test can be performed. This test begins by removing the test cartridge from its pouch and placed on a flat surface. Whole blood is then obtained either from a finger stick or anticoagulated blood professionally obtained. Here, blood has been obtained by a needle stick. Place two to three drops of blood into the cartridge's sample well. Two to three drops of developer solution containing a phosphate saline buffer is then added to the sample well. The results are read after 8 minutes. Here is an 8 minute rapid time lapse showing a negative mono test result. Note that the red arrow points to the presence of a single red control band indicating a valid test. Given the absence of a second band, this test would be considered negative and the patient would not be considered to have mono. Here is an 8 minute rapid time lapse showing a positive monospot result. The red arrow points to the control band to ensure the test is valid. If this red band is absent, any test results, whether negative or positive, would be considered erroneous and needs to be repeated. The blue arrow points to a second band that should appear if mono is present, indicating a positive monospot test. As such, if two bands are present, the patient has mono and should be treated accordingly. So how does this test work? In essence, this test runs the liquid sample along the surface of a pad with reactive molecules that show a visual positive or negative result. The pads are based on a series of capillary beds which has the capability of transporting fluids spontaneously via capillary action like a sponge. This testing technique is called solid phase lateral flow immunoassay. In the image below, monoheterophile antibodies is depicted as purple circles Bovine erythrocyte extract is the yellow letter Y with the yellow circle being a pigment and mouse anti-human IgM antibody is shown as a plain green letter Y. The plain white letter Y is the control. In the monospot test, the test pad has been pre-coated with mouse anti-human IgM antibody only in the test band region. When the sample well is exposed to blood, it gets absorbed into the test strip pad where it mixes with the bovine erythrocyte extract. If the specimen contains monoheterophile antibodies or the purple circles, the bovine erythrocyte extract binds to the monoantibodies and drags it across the test strip via capillary action. When the antibody bovine extract complex encounters the mouse anti-human IgM antibody immobilized in the test region, it produces a colored test band and indicates a positive result. To serve as a test control, a colored band will also appear in the control region if the test has been properly performed, which encompasses any free bovine erythrocyte extract not captured in the test region. Obviously, there is many more bovine erythrocyte extract, so even if mono is present, there will always be unattached bovine erythrocyte extract to allow for a positive control band.